Hey everyone, how's it going? Today's actually going to be the first episode or installment of Fitness with Nature with Gabe. So it's going to be a fun series of videos uh, where I take you out into nature um, and talk about health and fitness and how you can intertwine fitness and nature and how you can reap the benefits of both at the same time. Um, so today I'm actually going out on a run, um, but I'm going to a park that is a really nice natural area. I'm going to be doing some trail running. Uh, so it's, you know, just a great way to get outside and enjoy the natural world around you, make observations. Um, yeah, so let's get out there and see what we can see and have a good time. One thing I want to encourage you to do when you're out on a run is one, don't listen to music, especially if you're in a natural area. You know, there's so much to hear, so many different sounds um, that you can take in and start, you know, making connections with where you're hearing certain sounds. So, for example, birds. Um, a great way to start learning some of your bird calls is going out on a run or a walk. You know, just get outside outside and exercise a bit but also listen to what's around you start picking up on what birds are calling in what areas what habitats um, and that's a great way to start learning where birds spend their time um, and different times of year you're going to hear different things um, but it's a great way to spend some time outside exercise stay fit stay healthy but also start learning something about nature so while i'm on this run i'm going to be listening for all kinds of birds um, I can identify a good amount of them, but birds have so many different calls, so it's really hard and I'm still learning a lot. Um, but it's a great way for me to start learning about this area and what birds like this kind of habitat. Um, so let's keep going and see what we can see. Hey guys, uh, really quick uh, update. I found something pretty cool. I was running through this open area that's kind of in between some woodlands and it's kind of maybe, let's see, I don't know, maybe 150 yards from a river. Um, and right on this pathway here, there's this, there's this raided turtle nest. So some predator came in and dug up the eggs, started eating the contents of the eggs. Um, could be a skunk, coyote, fox, maybe raccoon, I don't know, a bunch of different things could have done this. And I'm not sure what kind of turtles it is, um, but you can kind of see the remains. This one has some dots on the plastron, which is the bottom of the shell. They're greenish color, which is kind of weird. Um, my guess is that they're like a, um, some kind of slider. Um, I don't think it's a box turtle, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, I'll have to ask my buddy Greg who knows his turtles really well. But yeah, it's kind of cool, interesting thing to come across in the middle of the pathway. You never know what you're going to find. Um, but yeah, we'll continue with the run and I'll keep you updated if we find anything else interesting. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, a little run, a little break in the run. Um, I wanted to point out a couple things. So when I'm running, I really like to use that time to scout areas out. You can cover a lot of grounds and uh, see a lot of things, see different areas, get kind of a feel for what the area is like if you're going to look for wildlife or certain plants or anything later. Um, so I always try and keep you know, remembering different areas that I've seen, um, specific things um, that will help me remember, you know, the area. Anyway, I wanted to point out this cool plant. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of turning yellow because it's the drought here. But this plant growing all around here on the ground, um, there are a bunch of little saplings. Um, and this is actually a pawpaw 
It's a fruit bearing tree that's native to here in the eastern US. I'm not sure their entire range how far they go, but uh, here in the state of Georgia, you can find them usually in wet areas like along rivers and stuff. Um, these ones are kind of growing in the hillside, but you can usually um, spot them pretty easily because they like take over an area and you'll see a bunch of them in one spot. So this kind of whole hillside right here has a bunch of the small saplings growing up. Uh, they have these teardrop leaves um, that are relatively large and grow in, you know, this kind of weird world configuration um, alternating right here. Um, and so they're kind of cool plant. They, yeah, they produce these big fruits. I think people eat them, all sorts of wildlife eat them. But uh, cool thing to point out, notice different plants. Another cool thing that I wanted to touch on is um, if you're into birds, especially woodpeckers, I really like woodpeckers, you always want to be on the lookout for snags. Snags are just like dead trees um, that woodpeckers feed on and they nest in. Um, so whenever I see a dead tree like this one, um, I check to see if there's any holes from woodpeckers or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you just want to be observant. Um, scout areas out when you're running. I mean, I enjoy doing it, um, but it's a great way to stay engaged during your run. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going um, and I'll update you if I see anything else that's cool. All right, guys, I came across, across something pretty cool um, right here crossing the path. We have a young black rat snake, so you can check it out. Uh, it's right here. And you can tell the black rat snakes um, because they have, they're pretty much all black. Some of them come in a lighter coloration, um, but they have a white chin um, down on the bottom. And oftentimes you'll see them in this little wavy type pattern crossing roads sometimes absorbing um, the heat from a certain area um, but yeah I'm pretty stoked on this one this is only the I don't know third or fourth black rat snake I've seen at this location um, always a good snake to see a great native snake they're harmless um, non-venomous uh, yeah so I'm glad I could share this with you Alright guys, so the sun is going down. I'm gonna finish up my run, um, get back to the car and drive on home. But I hope you enjoyed coming along. Um, one last cool nature observation I want to point out is something that I want you guys to try and look for. Um, especially if you're in the southeastern United States right now. Um, there's tons of chimney swifts out and about in the evenings, um, eating lots of insects, and this is a bird that is on the decline due to a variety of factors, but they're an awesome bird, so I challenge you to go out and find them. They're pretty easy to find, even in really urban areas. Um, but I'm out at this awesome wetlands right now, and it's just a little bit, you know, sunset time, um, a little bit past sunset, I think, or I don't know. but. Um, there's tons of chimney swifts, and if you just look up, um, you can actually see them flying. I don't know if you can see them with the GoPro since it's such a wide angle, but um, if you listen, they have a very distinct call. Um, it's hard to describe, but if you Google chimney swift, listen to that call, they look like little tiny flying cigars. Um, tiny little bodies with long pointed wings. Um, and they fly around and flutter around catching insects and they're really great for um, keeping some um, annoying insects, I guess you could say, like mosquitoes, um, their populations down. So I challenge you guys to get outside and try and find some chimney swifts one of these evenings. Um, that's the nature challenge for episode one of Fitness with Nature with Gabe. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. I hope to do more of these. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you want me to do anything specific, any um, ideas you have. Uh, if you think it was dumb, let me know. Um, 
go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe if you want more of this and more of other videos so yeah i'm excited to stay fit and learn more about nature catch you later